All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review McAfee Live Safe 2017. Now, I really like how McAfee is just putting everything into one program and they're making it user friendly. We will look at system resources, which is uh, a big thing about McAfee, is it uses a lot of the old versions used to use a lot of resources. Actually, the one we're using right now says copyright 2016. It is the end of the year right now, December 28th, December of uh, December 28th, 2016 right now at the time of making this video. But this program here is actually for 2017. All right. I downloaded the free trial. And as you can, as you can see, the date for the next scan, I just installed it right now, is uh, here in a couple of days. Let's look at our subscription. As you can see here, I did get the trial version. It expires the 27th of January, a month from now. And I'm about to show you guys how to do that. So you go to Google.com, and in Google, go ahead and type in McAfee Live Safe Trial up here on the search box and click on the one that says antivirus software internet security spyware and malware click on that one and then here go ahead and click on the start free trial button right here it will start to download it and on the bottom left hand corner if you're using internet actually if you're using Chrome will pop up here in the bottom left hand corner depending what uh, browser you're using and there are they were friendly enough to tell you to click on the downloaded file down here to begin installation as you can tell right here so that's pretty cool so once you download and install it this is what it looks like here this is McAfee live safe so right on the main screen you have virus and spyware protection and you can click here on schedule and run scans you can either in when you click on you can either scan your PC and it'll tell you if real-time scanning is on, scheduled scans is on. You can change that. All right, we're going to click on scan your PC. Now, when you scan, you can either do a quick scan, which we like to call a cheap scan. It doesn't really work that well. It just does a really quick scan. What I recommend you do is you click on run a full scan, and it'll thoroughly, like it says here, check your PC. And if you're trying to check your thumb drive or a file you just downloaded, you can also click on run a custom scan and you can customize that let's go back web and email protection is on when you click on that module there here it tell you firewall is on anti spam is on and web protection is on let's go ahead and take a look at those more in detail the firewall um, has a couple of features in here is a traffic controller you could change this right now it's set for smart access which is recommended and this uh, what this means is the firewall decides whether programs are allowed incoming and outcoming internet access. Monitored access, keep an eye on programs connecting to the internet and ask me. So before it blocks anything, it'll ask you. Stealth is hide my PC from you others. Let me decide whether unknown programs could connect to the internet. And then lockdown just basically just block everything on the internet if you need to do that. So that's a pretty cool firewall feature there. Oops, let's go back to it. The anti-spam also has more features on here spam protection levels right now it's balanced you can put it to more minimal for the spam on your inbox or very aggressive or even to restrict you can mark an email as uh, spam and restrict it that way let's go back um, web protection we're clicking on that and it's taking us to a whole new uh, link here and it's basically just site advisor software so it 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 makes you want it makes you download the site advisor software which I'm not gonna get into right now I'll have to make a whole new uh, new review for that but if you want a site advisor which what it does is it it kind of works like Google but it goes through their database so that protects you so that's basically how that works for web protection the updates right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and check for updates and click on the check for updates button I just barely downloaded McAfee so I'm gonna make sure it has all the latest updates here now this might take a while 
what you can do is click on the hide button here and it'll hide it for now but we're, we're going to bring it back up though and you can go back while that's going on too which is pretty cool all right and it's in progress now if you want to see more tools here on the right hand side these three little modules here is three of many features that come with McAfee Life Safe. Let's go ahead and take a look at data protection. It's taking a while to open it. So the Shredder program comes with this uh, Life Safe package and it's already installed. And basically, you use it so you can shred files. You can either go to Recycle Bin, Temporary Inner Folders, or Let Me Choose. And uh, you click on Shred, and it makes you browse for what file you want to choose. And let you, like I said, you can also do temporary files, Recycle Bin. You just click on the Shred button here, and it'll do it. There's different types of shreds. There's Basic, Safe, Comprehensive, and Complete. I recommend you go with Complete, so that way you shred it completely. All right. There's also a PC and home network tools. I'm not going to click on that one, guys, because it'll it's going to show you guys my IP addresses and a lot of uh, very uh, sensitive network information. And uh, basically, you click on there and it'll tell you who's connected to your network and everything. But like I said, for privacy matters, I can't click on that one. There is parental controls on this program if you want to block your kids from watching any bad stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, open it. So first thing you do is you set an administrator password. I'm just going to put the word password just to make this easy. But I recommend you guys make it harder. Password hint, you just you should just put you wish. You know, you wish you had it because you don't want to give your kids a hint of the password. You want them to know the password, all right? <laughs> Click on next. Of course, they're going to tell you to memorize it. Put it in a safe place. Your password. All right, so here we are. The you, my user, which I'm using right now, Luis. Uh, here it is. I do have uh, an account called the Empire. That's basically where I manage all my uh, all my little businesses that I have. We call the Empire. Now you can protect more children by adding them to Windows User Accounts tool first. So you're going to have to add a new user account on your computer itself on Windows. Before you can uh, see him here, let's say you have a little child. Let's say his name is Bob. So you create a new. Um, let's see, something just popped up. Let me close that for now. You create a new account on the Windows side first, and then you go on here. Let's say, let's pretend the Empire here is Bob. You click on the Protect button. Now. The reason why it's giving us this here is because I'm, these are all administrator accounts. You guys will have to create what's called limited accounts. Make sure they are not administrator accounts when you create them, all right? So we won't be able to go in there because I have administrator accounts. So basically, you click on protect, and it'll give you all the options to protect them from different things. All right, guys, just make sure you create their account as a, as a basic account. Not administrator account, but a basic limited account, all right? If you guys have any more questions about that, go ahead and com send me a comment on the comment section of the video. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible, okay, to help you with that. If we click on the navigation button up here, it'll show us a heck of a lot more um, tools we can use. For example, the vulnerability scanner here, which finds vulnerabilities. You scan and it'll, it'll start to find vulnerabilities in your system. If it has to do with Windows updates, program updates, and this could take a while. Let's go back here. The parental controls we already went through. The quick clean helps improve PC performance. And basically, you just click on clean. It'll clean up your computer. Now, before you clean, you need to close all your browsers. All right, guys? And that's basically the way that works. It'll clean everything up. You'll notice your computer go a lot faster. All right? We already talked about the shredder. There is a defragmenter program here. Defragment means um, when you use your computer, a lot of things, a lot of your files and everything gets scattered all over your computer. Defragmenter basically uh, puts it all in one location so your computer could pick it up better and your computer will run faster when you, de when you defragment.
Now I'm using the uh, Windows Defragmenter. That's why it's giving me this error here. I already have my own Defragmenter program. Automatic updates are uh, on right now. I recommend you keep them on. That's updates for your uh, for McAfee Life Safe. Real time scanning. I recommend you keep that on also. Basically, it just scans all the time. You want to keep that on. Very important, guys. Anti spam. We already went through there. The home network. We already went through that. Scheduled scan. You can go ahead and uh, schedule your own scan by clicking here. And right now it's set for every second Monday at 4 p.m. You can change that every Wednesday or you can make your own schedule. Select which uh, every second week, every week, first week of every month. Select the day and the time. Click apply. And that's the way you scheduled scans. Let's see what else. Quarantine and trusted items. If you're, if LifeSafe does find a virus, more than likely it's going to take it to the quarantine items. Basically you can come in here, find them. If you do get a virus and it quarantines them, make sure you come in here, guys, select the virus, and delete it completely from your computer. I don't know why these programs don't delete it automatically. They just quarantine. Quarantine is not – it's like putting your enemy in prison. You don't want to have him in prison because he can break out. So you want to kill him. You want to kill the enemy completely, right? The enemy – the virus on the computer, you know. I like to call it the enemy. <laughs> All right. Web protection, we already went through that. Traffic monitor. We already went to that. Couldn't open it because it, I don't want to show you guys all my sensitive information. And that's basically it in a nutshell. LifeSafe. I'm going to give LifeSafe a good review because they have every single thing you need in one package, guys. And actually, uh, we should see how much it costs. Let's go back here. Let's go to products, LifeSafe. So if you were to want to buy this, it costs $90. And it protects not only your computer, you can protect your tablet and your uh, your phones with it too. All right, protects all your devices. One year subscription, so every year you will have to pay ninety dollars. All right, guys. So that's so that's it for McAfee Life Safe. Like I said, I'm going to give this a good review because it does have everything in one. It is a little pricey, but if you like to have everything in one and um, you don't like to having more than one program to do everything. You just want to have it all in one place. I recommend it. Oh, yeah. Before we uh, go anywhere, before I end this, I want to take a look at system resources. See how much it's taking. Because, like I said, the old one, the old McAfee programs used to take a lot. And I mean a lot of system resources. So we're going to take a look right now. So there's one McAfee right there taking up 65,000 of memory. Let's see if we can find another one. Here's another one. So McAfee does run quite a few processes. This new one doesn't run as much though, and I love that right now. Here's another one, another one, another one here. So those are all the processes it's going to use. Actually, it does use quite a bit of them now that I see that. But that doesn't surprise me since it has a lot of features. We look at performance. It's not really killing much of our CPU. I'm already, I'm already using a lot of gigs because I'm actually editing a video right now. But it uh, looks like Mac McAfee doesn't take that much resources anymore. So they fixed that issue. That's good. So I do give McAfee a good review. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. Hope you guys found this video helpful. And stay tuned for more helpful tutorials and reviews.